I, the Flint Fire Department, was able to secure a grant today from the 100 Club of Genesee, uh, Lapeer, and Shiawassee County. And what the grant uh, purpose for us is thermal imaging cameras. And, we, and many might want to know, what's a thermal imaging camera? Well, what this is, is this is eyes in darkness. We can virtually see through darkness with these cameras, and it makes our job so much more effective. We, uh, we were able to purchase one truck, or excuse me, one uh, thermal imaging camera for our four lead trucks. And so with this, our job is going to be much easier. So I'd like to give you a brief demonstration. And of course, we're at the Flint Fire Department right now, so there is no danger here. But we're going to go behind this door here, and then we're going to show you exactly how the camera works. And what it does is it, it shows us outlines of uh, whether it be a victim or maybe hidden fire. So we'll go see what we find. All right, the first thing we're going to notice is that we're in complete darkness. Of course, we are in no danger, but as I scan the room, I'm going to notice that there's objects on my left, objects on our right, and then you'll notice in front of us a big glow. So as a firefighter, the first thing I'm going to try to figure out is what that glow is. So we're going to walk a little bit closer to the glow. Of course, I would be on my hands and knees as a firefighter. But as I get closer to the glow, I start to realize that it's a controlled glow. In other words, as you can see, there's heat coming out of here and heat coming out of here. So more than likely, that is a heat uh, register and as you can see the heat goes up the wall but as we stand uh, get down a little lower and I start to do my my uh, scan I notice shoes of a person outline of a person right there so as I get a little closer what I'm going to try to do is uh, you can see my hand step into the frame and I'm going to uh, check to see if that's a real person. Are you a real person? Yes, sir. All right, there's a real person right there. So this would have been a rescue situation. Can you sit up for us, Firefighter Clemens, or uh, excuse me, Edwards? And um, as you can see, his I got a full outline of a person. Can you roll over to the one side so we can see what a heat signature looks like? You can literally see where he was just laying at right there. Um, that our body creates enough heat to lay the heat on the ground. This is that. This camera is that sensitive that it, we can pick up the slightest of heat. Just like if you look down at my uh, my shoe, you can tell actually where my foot sits in there. In my boot, I have steel toes, so the tip of my toe is going to be cooler, which is going to give a little darker imprint than the rest of my boot where my foot, my hot foot, is in. So what we would do use this for is obviously for looking for victims. That's our primary reason, like uh, trainee uh, Edwards there, but also to look for hidden fire. And what that helps us do is so that we're not as destructive on small fires. We can go in and find the small fire, and um, if it's hidden behind the walls or ceiling, we can isolate it so that we don't cause more damage than necessary. Very, very valuable tool, and we're very thankful to the Hunter Club.